it will cost $68 billion to buy back XRP from regular people and give it to institutions like the US Federal Reserve, BlackRock, and JP Morgan. Even more recently, the biggest gold provider in the world, Swiss Gold, said that they would accept XRP as payment for all gold sales. They already do. I guess things are getting worse. It is now true that the Federal Reserve is buying XRP and that XRP is backed by gold. This is happening with the World Bank. XRP is the first global cross-border payment system that will be launched around the world. It also promotes the XRP Ledger cashback system that uses the CURTA training fund system as the official cashback system on the XRP Ledger, rewarding users with CTF coins. So it's all about the XRPL, which is growing a lot. Google even said that the Federal Reserve is going to use XRP as a way to make payments around the world. Besides JP, there's a lot more. If you thought that was it, you're wrong. They now take payments in XRP, and Spargo will accept payments in XRP for loans and credit cards. The Federal Reserve says that XRP and XLM are the only digital assets that can be used to make payments through the FedNAP system. The Federal Reserve's plan to buy back XRP for $30,000 is also being looked into. As for your claim that your XRP is worth $30,000, the Federal Reserve is going to look into that exact claim. That's what it says in the title Fox Journalist Hints to Investigate Federal Reserve XRP $30,000 Buyback Proposal. We're going to talk about a lot in today's video, but one thing that stands out is the $30,000 per XRP buyback plan that the Federal Reserve is looking into. The price of XRP is currently around 60 cents. As we always do, we're going to list a giveaway of XRP for all of you lucky people watching today's movie. To share this video, all you have to do is click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you can get post alerts, and share the video. Please also follow me on Twitter at CryptoGeek to get the latest crypto news, and please follow me on Instagram as well as we are getting very close to 150,000 fans. So let's start with this JP Morgan will accept XRP as payment for credit cards and mortgages. Some of you may have seen this already, but I thought it was really important. That's why we need to go over it. It says that, and it's a big change for the world of cryptocurrencies. Chase by JP Morgan, very important here, because JP Morgan Chase is the world's biggest bank has said that it will not accept any purchases other than credit card and mortgage. This change lets customers pay with experience and get cash back through the XFP Lighter system. The crypto trading fund CTF using CTF coins, and that's not all. This is yet another huge game changer. It's also meant to buy Watcher Girl, which only posts proven news. BRICS India and the UAE deal with each other without using the US dollar. Today, Ripple XRP is an important part of trade talks between two BRICS countries, India and the UAE. India's first deal with the UAE was for crude oil, but it was done in local currency instead of the US dollar. The crypto trading fund CTF XRP ledger system is linked to the exchange. Customers can get cash back in the form of CTF coins when they use their system. Guys, this is huge news. The United Arab Emirates and the UAE are going to work together. The business put out a news release announcing a partnership with the DIFC or Dubai International Financial Center. According to the press statement, the partnership will speed up innovation in blockchain and digital assets in the UAE. Take a look at this hugely strange event. The video quality isn't great, but I was able to find this very old movie that I just found, and it is very, very important. Basically, central banks have gone straight to Ripple and told them, we want to use you guys who is making this claim. You're talking about the Ripple employee who is in charge of that area. The relationships, which are financial management with banks, are something he likes. And he says there are groups like the central banks of different countries actually calling them every day to ask them to accept XRP as payment, but they're delaying it for some reason that no one knows. But the point is that banks will use XRP. Pay attention to that. It's true that local cryptos like XRP, Bitcoin, and Ethereum are not all the same, right? Not every one of them is the same. I believe that more environmentally friendly solutions are becoming more and more popular in the business world right now. There is no mining, proof of work, or proof of stake with the XRP system or XRP Validating deals shouldn't cost much in terms of computing power, right? It's very, very cheap, and the prices don't change much. Again, not all stable coins are the same. There are a huge number of algorithmic safe coins to choose from. Everyone remembers the Terra story from a few weeks ago. Last but not least, stable coins are now being made by regulated organizations. I can't say what the projects are called yet, but we're working on two of them, one in the UK and one in the US. We're working with regulated banks that will be producing stable coins, and the reserves will probably be kept at a central bank in an account held by the central bank. It is very different from the safe coin that is based on algorithms. Ripple works with all of these technologies, and then there are central bank digital currencies, which are the safest type of digital currency because they are released by and backed by the central bank. As a company that works with payments, you can be sure that we're all for these. We think they will all be important in the future of money. 
That is cryptocurrencies make up less than 1% of all money today. The money in the central bank is less than 10%. The rest of it is all money from business banks. It will be interesting to see how that looks when it's all digitized in five or 10 years. So will safe coins make up 90% of the market and CBDCs only 10%? Or will CBDCs be able to grow and make up a much larger part of the money supply? That's up to the people who make the rules, not me. Things start to get interesting now. Because we chose to move on and really look into the huge cashback XRP ledger system. The crypto trading fund is what every organization or group that talks about using XRP talks about. Uh, take a look at this. It's the first reward system ever made for making passive cash. There is a system behind it, and it simply gives you CTF tokens. But now comes the crazy part. The price keeps going up a lot. Every single day. Since its start, the CFDF has gone up by hundreds of thousands of percentage points, and it just made a breakout pattern. Now, guys, this is the really interesting part. So far, my calls have been pretty good based on what I see here. But as I told you, we're going to see some kind of pattern, a pattern that keeps showing up, where there will be long side transactions or sidelining, and then that huge pump. Did you get a pullback after every pump that looked exactly like the one we saw here? And it does look like the same pattern just showed up. So even though the pattern is the same when the same breakout timeline shows up, let's talk about what the very limited amount of GTF tokens is good for. To give you an idea, XRP has a total number of 100 billion tokens, which is crazy because it takes quadrillions of dollars for its value to rise. Well, when there is less supply, it needs a lot less market cap. For example, for GTF, it cost over $1,400 with a market cap of only $40 billion. Imagine this, the XRP ledger will be able to handle between $30 and $50 trillion by 2025. This was said by our RMAX CEO, and I can find the clip. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments and I'll send it to you. The point is that it can easily skyrocket because people need it and the amount of money it will handle. That's the whole point, right? As a result of huge increases in demand and shortages of supply, you get a quick supply shock, which makes the price go through the roof by 10, 100, or even a thousand times. Again, as I said, we saw it do this before when it instantly went from being worth less than a penny to about $1.14, a 200 to 3,000% rise. The best part is now here. That's not only on point with the trend, it's also on the XRP account, and it really is the perfect chance. I have been slowly buying things in order to get a better idea of how much they cost, but I just bought a huge percentage because I really believe in the project and spent twice as much as I usually would. Now I want to be totally honest with you guys. I'll say it again, I'm not a business advisor. You can get financial help from yourself and you should always look things up on your own. But the idea behind this is to look at usefulness, low supply, and the market as a whole. It's on the XRP, of course. Ledger is a huge fan of XRP. It works so well together. It's on the XRP ledger. Large financial companies are working with it and are planning to use it. This means that if it is put into practice in these huge financial institutions, it will be instantaneous where it skyrockets and not average. If you're not in your end, it will be too late. On top of that, the XRP ledger is going to make it possible to send and receive 30 to $50 trillion. As I always say, do your own research because I'm not a financial advisor. Look into it and make your own decision because nothing I say is financial advice. There's a lot of information on the website ctftoken.com about the project utility framework and rewards. That's why I really think you should go there and at least look around. Having said that, let's get back to XRP because this is important. This is a part of the XRP system and XRP is the best at that. That's right, gold is now a real thing with XRP. Should you want to buy gold or invest in real assets, you can now do so with XRP. This is because Swiss Gold has officially announced that they will accept XRP for gold and silver sales. Of course, in the money you like. 